Students and non-students at universities here in Florida have been rallying in support of Palestine this week. Now some universities are cracking down on protesters who are refusing to follow the law, leading to multiple arrests. Rallies continue nationwide on college campuses, including here in Florida. People protest in support of Palestine by setting up encampments on campus. It's um, a message of like, we're not going anywhere. Like this isn't like a one time protest. Palm Beach County resident Jules Gerstein is a senior at the University of North Florida. The demand here, the protest here is like, let us see your books. Like, let us see that you're not supporting Israel. She's a member of the group that protested today at UNF, but she's also Jewish. So for you as a Jewish student, was it difficult for you to support this pro-Palestinian protest? Uh, no, I can hold space for for that and, and for my identity and hold the space for uh, people losing their lives. We reached out to the University of North Florida. The school said students were given 30 minutes to take down the tents per campus rules. So how are students feeling seeing this on their campus? Students are feeling disturbed. Rabbi Shumli Novak is with the Chabad at UNF, who has been encouraging their Jewish students to avoid the protests. This isn't new to us, unfortunately. We've seen this a time or two before. So we're just proud of our students that despite the adversity, they're sticking to their faith. Protests have also been seen at Florida State University, where more than a dozen people have been arrested this week. The same amount also arrested during protests at the University of South Florida, where police even used what appears to be tear gas to break up the crowds. And at the University of Florida, nine people were arrested Monday, and so far, no arrests have been made at UNF. Keep in mind the school semester is coming to an end, so now the focus is shifting to graduation, leaving some to wonder if the activists will show up at those events. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Joel Lopez.